Hi everyone, this is your swing instructor Sara here. So this is a do it yourself a quick video. I just want to show you that how you can turn an um, um, old uh, basket, paint basket. I have this one and you can turn it um, a cute storage basket for the toys and or you can use it um, otherwise like a um, stool small stool for activity table for kids obviously it will grow very fast so don't need to buy a small chair and you have to throw them so better you can use your uh, old material and recycle it so here i have this blanket a uh, very thin blanket and this is small size blanket and so and my kids are uh, uh, grown now so um, I better I use this one old so no need to buy anything new and you see this is a little stretchable so for stretchable I made it the width first you have to take the uh, you have to take the width and length of your um, this bucket paint bucket so let me uh, show you how you can take with this is a small project for uh, this is very good even for the beginners so that's how you can take the width of your bucket see like this so here my uh, measurement is 36 so i add two inches for the swim allowance on both sides and also i measure my uh, length that is um, here I take it till here the mid of this point so till here is 19 so I take it like 20 so 1 inch for seam loss and also one thing I want to show you guys uh, I use this overlocked edge uh, cover stitch edge uh, for the um, finishing part of this uh, bucket so no need to turn from here so it's also time saving so just uh, let me show you quickly how i take the fabric i use width as a width so this is folded part and i take here um my measurement was 36 so i take from this point to this point uh, 38 because i add two inches and from here to that way lengthwise i take 20 okay so here to here is 38 and here to here is 20 uh, uh, with the seam allowances okay and then i just stitch here so i want here this this way my stretching um stretching part uh, for the width because i want to fit it in the bucket so let me show you how i can fit it in my bucket so guys i'm doing it like just wear a dress so something like this what did you do here okay and you see here here this this part is uh uncovered so i take uh, you remember i take one inch extra so i'm going to stitch it like here from inside to gather all these things so uh, i will show you how i can hand stitch it you can use machine but uh, as a beginner it's best to use your um, needlework so let me show you how we can stitch this so guys uh, from here one point i'm going to start it together like this the basting stitch like something that i show you in yesterday uh, lesson the my fourth class you can see in the um, playlist so see that's how i'm doing very fast the side lines i stitch by machine but if you don't have machine you can also do by hand and but this this thing i'm doing by hand so all these things you have to just gather it like uh, you are making gathers in anything and after that so guys all is done the gathering part now i have to pull it like this see like this and now i'm going to stitch it to make sure that all these thing is 
secured so like this better use a little thick needle so all your layers will come in this needle so that's why I'm making it like this and you have to secure it properly so uh, guys I hand stitch it because these were multiple layers so that's why I hand stitch it from inside and here you can make a some soft bow or something some flower with ribbon if you are going to use this as a um, stool small stool for kids small kids or I have this ribbon by chance so I thought just to make it like a little decorative and that's how my main uh, purpose is to uh, to use it as a stool but you can use it as a see storage basket so you can put your kids toys inside it and it will look nice so anyway they will grow fast so you have to throw even if you buy something expensive so better reuse and recycle and save the envir environment and use your um, stitching skills and it's a good project for the beginners so hope you like uh, this video please uh, for more tutorials uh, subscribe my channel salika mang thank you